I have a 2013 F-150 5.0. If you have ever changed out the starter, you know exactly what I'm talking about pertaining to that top boat. It's just not accessible. It's just a beast. Uh, my starter has failed. Temperature's got below zero, and yeah, it's finally just gone. I could tell for about a month it was struggling, but anyway, we are where we are. So I had to change out the starter. Putting the top boat back in is, is another story. So this is my strategy that I came up with. Hopefully it works. I'll let you know. I've stuck the boat through just enough on the backside that I'll at least have it started in the hole where it needs to be. I took some dental floss, wrapped it around the head, nice and tight. This allows me to be able to lift up the starter, put it at any angle it needs to go to be able to um, put starter in and not have the boat fall out. Um, obviously I'll do this very gently and then this gives you just enough room with your fingers pull that dental floss off tighten it back up I don't care if that dental floss stays on there for the rest of its life it's not going to do any harm at all so anyway there we go that's my strategy I'll get back with you and let you know if it works okay I have to say the dental floss approach it worked uh, first time however uh, it, I didn't have to put my hands up there to try to get my hand, it, and you have to be a contortionist to, to make this work. And, I uh, put my fingers up there, was able to get a hold of the bolt, but, um, um, your arm, your hand, your fingers are just not, just not long enough. You can't do it. Can't do it. So I had to take the uh, starter back out. We came back inside. It was about five degrees outside. My wife suggested, what if you were to put Play-Doh underneath the bottom of the nut? kind of supporting the the dental floss sure okay i'll give it a try and i did took it outside let it sit for 20 minutes dried out a little bit and came out and if it didn't kind of set up real firm so again put the wiggle the starter in place put the bottom bolt in first to to snug up the starter um uh, nice and tight um, then i went up with a a 13 millimeter socket, a long, a long socket with a four inch extension, went up and attempted to put that socket on the head of the bolt. Fortunately, because the Play-Doh was there, it allowed me to move that socket around to find the right edges, caught it, shoved it right in, started hand tightened up, and I thought, man, this is going way too easy. Is this, is this really working? Because you can't see anything. Right, and I did put a thread chaser through the hose to make sure everything was nice and clean. Sure enough, I bottomed that sucker out and I was done. Tightened it up to 29 foot pounds and I was out. So I have to say, uh, the horror stories that I, I've read online uh, where people are just leaving the boat out, cannot do it. They've tried over and over and over. Um, fortunately, the, the dental floss and the Play-Doh actually made a difference. And... Uh, it has been accomplished. All right. Hope this helps somebody else out. Y'all have a great day.